All right, well, this is a very professional film crew here. We were actually setting up that on the table, trying to make a tripod, but then it was kind of too backlit there. So I said, you know what? I'm just gonna make it, this is like MTV. Like we're just, we're moving around here uh, and we're just gonna like- DYI, love it. DYI, so that's is how these guys do it. Are we more like Jersey Shore? That's like punk rock shit. No, definitely like Cribs. Like yeah, I haven't really seen, no yeah, Cribs. Yeah, I haven't seen Jersey Shore. So this is totally yeah, Cribs. You, and it literally is Cribs, because this is my crib. We were outside at the TIFF party, and I said, I live in this condo, and I use my little fob to get into this room. So, so there you go. Who, uh, it, please introduce yourselves. We got Lord here, but not oh, really. Yes, I'm um, Stephanie Pearson, and I play uh, Karen in Downrange. My name is Rod Hernandez Barella, and I play Todd in Downrange. And I'm Kelly Conair, and I play Jody, also in Downrange. What a coincidence. <laughs> and you all live in LA? Yes, we do. Currently. And are you two current, like originally from LA? We are originally from LA. And then you're from something with an M? Minnesota. Minnesota, cool. And uh, for those of us like myself who know nothing about downrage, can you give us like a quick synopsis or something? I'll tell you. Uh, yeah, sure. Um, a car full of kids uh, carpooling, they're in the middle of nowhere and their tire goes out. And then they realize that a sniper has shot out their tire and they become targets of a sniper uh, who is one by one picking them off. So it's a hilarious romantic comedy. Dude, that's what I've been saying. <laughs> Literally, I've been saying that the entire time. It's a totally a rom-com. Yeah. Cool. Wow, so it's kind of like a, was this a Midnight Madness screening? Or? It was, yes. Oh, okay. So it premiered uh, Friday the 15th at midnight and uh, to like 1,300 people. Wow. At the Ryerson. Uh, at the Ryerson Theater, which yep. is like one of the biggest theaters, part of oh. TIFF in general. Oh, no, I was at the Ryerson there for another Midnight Mass. Uh, James Franco's movie debuted there. Yeah, so. Actually, James Franco's a teacher of mine what? Uh, at Cal Arts. Uh, I studied under him, um, and he was talking about this for a while, so it's nice to be even in the same realm as him. It's really nice. That is huge. And is this your first, like for all of you, or have you been in other feature films? or? This is my first feature film. I've done, you know, student films, but yeah. this is definitely the biggest thing I've ever done. Uh, I've done. And it's my first festival, too. I've done feature films, just never to this extent. Like, uh, I, this is just, like, the biggest thing I've ever done. So, yeah, and it's definitely my first big, big festival. Yeah. Wow. Sure, yeah. I've done a little bit of film and TV, but, yeah, first lead. Um, I've done uh, a bit of horror before and worked with uh, James Wan and Insidious, Blue yeah. House. Um, but yeah, it's it's great to be back. Dropping names. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get with LA people. Like they've actually worked with. Yeah, oh, I just yeah. James Franco's my teacher. Like yeah. here we're like, oh, I'm friends yeah. with the lady out there. Like I don't. Know. <laughs> she was great. Yeah. Like a big city, small town though. I mean, everyone knows each other or ends up working together. Right. Um, so yeah, it's uh, that happens a lot. Absolutely. Yeah. So this is this is pretty crazy. I feel like everybody's gonna see this and go, Josh, you were actually sitting in a room with those people. <laughs> Although it's not exactly. I'm not sitting. No, I'm not first. Yeah, that's true. I'm standing. And I, also, these people aren't really well known. But maybe in the upcoming months and years, maybe. We will. No, I feel it. I feel like this is it. I mean, you're in a movie. That's most people's dreams. That's true. I, I was interviewing. Uh, a couple of actors a couple of days ago from an Egyptian movie and I'm like so yeah like are you, is this your first movie and they're like uh, no we're like superstars in Egypt and they've each got like half a million Instagram followers I'm like okay uh, so I don't know but you guys I'm actually I you know you speak English and I can understand you so <laughs> this is this is totally followers. gonna be huge yeah, like what is yeah, like, uh, maybe like a thousand followers yeah, I've got going. my mom my aunt <laughs> <laughs> well you're gonna have like Ten more now, like my mom and my aunt. I love it, man. Yeah. I love them every single one. Hi, mom. Yeah. Uh, do any? Of, I guess like it, it would be a spoiler to ask, but uh, do any of you die in the movie? We, there are several casualties. There, there are, are casualties. Many casualties. Yeah. Oh uh, my. Who goes first? Who survives? We it's, can. Oh, of course you can't reveal this. So the people go and actually watch it. But it's definitely you know something to see. It's a, you can't expect what happens. Yeah, actually, this there uh, like the end of this film is probably one of the most original things. When I read the script, I was like, this is one of the most original endings in not just any horror, but like in a lot of films that I've ever read. And then to like actually see it on screen, it, mm -hmm. it and surprising. I'm not surprisingly actually yeah. like all 1,300 people for both screenings. Yeah. Um, it was like went, audible gas. Yeah, it audible. went. They went fucking wild. Yeah. Yeah. Really? They it's went really, crazy. It yeah. Exciting. It's because it's unexpected. You you just you really have no idea. And how? Speaking of like swearing, how violent is, is there? Swearing? Is there like blood in this movie? Just like a R. hard R. Hard R. Yeah. Hard R. There's R. more. There's more. You know, gore and violence than swearing. Yeah. The yeah. director Ryuhei Kitamura, who's had films uh, twice. This is his third film, part of the, the okay. Toronto. Yeah, Midnight Madness and Toronto International Film Fest. All of his movies are like ultra. Not, I mean, they're ultra violent. Action over the yeah. action non -stop, non stop in yeah. your face genre um, action films. Yeah, that's crazy. If you're a fan of those. 
type yeah. of films. I am a fan good. of those. That's what I watch on the treadmill now. I go on Netflix and I sort of watch, I watch like uh, the Keanu Reeves when you're kicking butt, John Wick and stuff. And then <laughs> yeah, I feel like I'm a superhero. And then I look in the mirror and then I'm not. Yeah, absolutely. Did you guys have to physically train for this? So we didn't train. We did we some, rehearsed a lot of rehearsals. We, we did rehearse, but uh, definitely we did all of our own stunts. Mm -hmm. um, what? There are cars flipping, there are yeah. squibs, there are things exploding, there's yeah. uh, like a like car literally flips, flips over and there's an explosion. And right. uh, yeah, we did like all of our own stunts. Basically dragging a car through Yeah, like the dirt. A, a car drives, I think, I don't know, like 100 feet, and we're, us yeah. three are literally trying to stop it by ourselves. All, the, right, all they said was, right. oh, just keep your feet away from the wheels because you might. Break something. <laughs> you might actually get yourself yeah. run over and die. You might, you, you might Tom action. Cruise yourself, and now you'll be out of the movie. <laughs> oh, That's man, insane. Yeah. Jackie Chan, that shit. You know. And you guys don't even have health care in the states, so you literally oh took God. your life in I your mean, hands. Jesus, let's make that a thing. Yeah. 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 Well, California is a bit more liberal, but I don't, I don't know how health care works. I don't, I don't understand that. Not well. Is this your first time in Toronto? Speaking of which, first time in Canada. Yes. It is. Yeah. What do you think? I really like it. It's really clean. It's it's like I feel like it's like Los Angeles meets New York meets like, like the architecture. Is really just nice. really like just so clean though. <laughs> like, yeah. It's nice people, beautiful. I mean, we came in a beautiful time, I think. Um, and the festival has been incredible to us. I mean, we've had um, so many cool people just working with us. Um, we had a great time. I mean, everything that we've done has been um, really exciting. Yeah, great crew, and the people here are just absolutely like. So yeah. caring and friendly, Lovely. and just any like, not that I have anything against people from Los Angeles, but yeah, they you can walk down the street and say hello and ask questions, and they'll respond and be human and yeah, not, you know, not tell you to fuck off. Right. You, know, <laughs> you mean in Toronto they'll respond? Yeah, no, that's what I mean. Oh, and in LA they won't, because they'll be like, I'm sorry, can you do anything for me? Do I know you? Exactly. Yeah. yeah, are you a big agent? No, I don't need to talk to you. No. Exactly. Yeah. And you can actually walk here. Actually, in LA, people I say, I'm going to walk a block. What are you going to walk? Get in a car. Like, yeah, exactly. What part of LA do you guys live in? I just love LA. I want to move there and picture it. Uh, Studio City. Oh, that's like yeah, I've, 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 I grew up in, uh, in a little town called Eagle Rock, which is, has. Eagle Rock? Eagle Rock, yeah. Isn't that like a movie line where he's from Eagle Rock? It's a comedy. You'll look it up. It's I, I will, joke. but I currently <laughs> live in a place called Echo Park. Oh, okay. I think yeah. I've heard of that. Yeah. And I'm downtown. That's Minnesota Girl. <laughs> is I'm it like, Minnesota? Yeah, Did I get it right? Yeah. yeah. I'm like two yeah. blocks from her, so from where where I live, like in the two block range, I'm it turns it Echo Park, and then she's downtown. Right. Mm -hmm. It's we're two blocks away from each other. That is so yeah. cool. You guys are like Melrose Place. I love this. <laughs> and so, you, are you touring, doing the festival thing? Like, is is you gonna take this film other places? And it's stuff? been accepted into a couple. Uh, mm -hmm. So it was uh, the film Downrange by directed by Rihei Kitamura. Uh, cinematographer was uh, Matthias Schubert. We can't leave him out. Um, yeah. Writer was Joey Joe, Joey O'Brien. Uh, it was uh, accepted into the Busan, or is that yes. Busan Film Festival, which is Korea. Asia's uh, biggest film festival. Oh. We've been accepted into two of Spain's uh, biggest film fests. Si. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's, yes. that's the extent of my Spanish. <laughs> we speak French here. We. Yeah. Oui. Yeah. No, it's interesting because oui. like, we were just saying that California is like English and Spanish mostly, and here it's English and French. Exactly. Yeah. So it's, it's a little different. And I guess, I guess you'll see how much money you have to be able to travel to all the different places. You can't go everywhere, right? That's yeah. right. Yeah. Ah, man. And uh, any, any film projects on the, on the horizon, like your next thing? Or do you sort of focus on this right now? Um, yeah, I've got a, uh, another lead coming up in a feature film about um, a bunch of uh, heroin addict uh, women in rehab. Who, yeah, um, and my character is a, um, an army vet who has PTSD. She has rage blackouts, so they think that she is the murderer when someone goes missing and then dead. Um, and so my character has to battle it out with the real murderer. So another hilarious romantic comedy. Exactly, you yeah, guys are so great. intense. Feel good, uh, smiles at the end. Yeah. I was just recently hired as a producer and as a lead uh, for uh, a feature film that'll be, um, I can't really give away too much, but um, yeah, I was just brought in as a producer and as a lead actor and uh, I'll be helping out with like the casting and stuff. But um, it, it was written by a really well-known author and screenwriter and, Bad boys, what you want? That's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's it. That's a clue. That's all I'm saying. Oh my God! Yeah. I do not deserve to be in this room. <laughs> yeah. And what's Minnesota? Are you gonna go back to the farm and pitch some hay or whatever you do? No, I'm not from a farm. But <laughs> <laughs> um, I actually am a student. I go to a school called Relativity School, um, and so I'm, you know, both filming last year and this festival are both during classes. So I'm just trying to catch up, but I'm also, you know, still auditioning. 
fine. Does your professor know you're here? Or if he sees this video, yeah, he's going to be like, wait a minute. They're very happy, oh. and they're like, you know, talking about it, and it's really exciting. Relativity, it sounds like, are you learning astral physics or something? Or? No, it's because of Relativity Media. Um, oh, okay. production company. Yeah, they're, right. they, I've heard of that. They produce yeah. a lot of really big films. Right, and it's wow. on Los Angeles Center Studios, which stuff shoots out all the time, both movies and TV, and so we see stuff, but we can't talk to I mean, your school is literally on a movie lot. That's where uh, auditions were held. Yeah. Yes, yeah. Actually, oh, right. For this movie? For this yes. movie. Yeah. So and you probably, guys didn't know each other before? No, we didn't. No. But you happen to live two blocks away, and are all we buddies? Yeah. 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 We actually, our cast was um, six people, um, but we were the closest. Um, yeah, and that probably tells you something about the order in which we all die. Um, but yeah, we uh, had become... First. <laughs> doesn't say anything. spoiler <laughs> uh, but we became pretty much like instant friends working on set and our set our location was two hours outside of Los Angeles in the middle of nowhere uh, no cell service so we really became actually close. no cell service and most of it oh, okay. uh, most of our our set our set location um, was like like you said in the middle of nowhere and the only prop that we had around us was like a giant truck yeah so even though it was like in the middle of nowhere it was expansive long winding road hills nature we were confined beautiful. to like staying between the front and end of an SUV and so 10 feet by maybe four feet yeah was and our so, entire area and like we were this close pretty much the entire film um, and so you kind of just naturally and organically we become like, friends and <laughs> yeah I feel really bad for you oh man I gotta be surrounded by these two cute girls in <laughs> the wilderness no, Betty and Veronica <laughs> see the sunrises and the sunset. There was one day that there was a double rainbow. Oh, um, yeah. There was double one day. Rainbow. Like deer out there. There was deer. There was cows that snakes. came to that one day. Yeah. Snakes. Um, mountain lions. There was a it wolf. Is. What? Yeah. I'm, oh, well, a hired wolf. I think the wolf got paid more than all of us. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> a hired wolf? Oh, like part of like he was cast oh, yeah. for I the movie? Was a, the wolf from Game of Thrones? Wolf yeah, it was, the, it was a wolf from Game of Thrones. A celebrity wolf. Yeah, so yeah, he was way wolf. more she famous like, than Such a big ego. I haven't been on Game of Thrones, but... <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, he has a better resume. Absolutely. <laughs> oh, that's all right, but now you can say you know him. You know, that's right. You got a selfie with him, you know, wolf. Oh, uh, we did. Yeah. I, I got plenty of selfies with that guy. Yeah. Smart. Okay, well, I know you guys are busy. When are you flying back to L.A.? So she yeah, actually kind of has to take minutes, off like, like, like right now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and then we, her and I are, are no. catching similar flights, so we're taking off in about two hours. Yeah. All right. I have one more thing that I remembered that I wanted to say this whole week that we were here. Um, how do cool kids sit? <laughs> oh my god! Why did we forget about that? Oh my god, dude. Oh, oh dude, god. I fucking That's love awesome. It. Well, that's the best way to end an interview. <laughs> Hopefully I'll be a cool kid, and if I go to LA, I can like do that pose with you guys. Wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait. one more time. How do cool kids sit? What? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you so much, man. Thank you. <laughs>